Hold up. Wait a minute. Now, what is one thing, because we covered this debate last week, what is one thing you guys remember? Me and KD, when he was on here, we have noticed that Kamala Harris has been lying just as much as Donald Trump during that debate. And she was never fact-checked once. We were fact-checking both of them. Because Donald was lying and Kamala was lying. They were lying everywhere. But problem was, it was skewed in one way. Look, I saw that debate that happened last week. Look, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I honestly should have gotten, you know, a, a vitamin B shot uh, for after that debate because I, I honestly just wanted to lay down afterwards because that that was tragic. Um, and so one of the things that I find very suspicious, is, and, and I, I was thinking about this, was that Kamala Harris was a little too prepared for those answers. And this reminds me of... Uh, the DNC giving uh, the DNC giving debate questions early to Hillary Clinton and the Hillary Clinton campaign colluding with uh, I think it was NBC or MSNBC and uh, it this was done uh, this was confessed to through people like Donna Brazil. It feels like we're living in a twilight zone and this is happening once again. So. I'm going to share this as well. This was a interesting and very revealing affidavit that actually came out. I was just want to give a, a shout out to Hotspot for this. So Hotspot says, breaking newly released affidavit from ABC whistleblower alleges that Kamala Harris colluded with ABC prior to presidential debate to rig it against Trump. So let's go over this. So of course they had to black out or, you know, black out the names and things like that. So this was dated on September 9th, which was the day before the, the day before the debate. It says I blank being duly sworn, do hereby make the following statement under penalty of perjury. My name is blank. I reside in a blank Manhattan, New York. I have worked for ABC News for over 10 years in various technical and administrative positions. Since the acquisition of ABC News in 1996, I have observed significant transformations in the nature of news reporting at the organization. These changes suggest a shift from unbiased reporting to a model influenced by external factors. Now, one of the things I want to tell everybody is that ABC News is owned by Walt Disney Company. That's what I think they're referring to. So, just to let you guys know, ABC News is owned by Disney. The mouse sees and knows all. So number four says, for the record, I do not endorse Donald Trump in his capacity as candidate for president of the United States. The intent of this affidavit is to address concerns regarding perceived biases within the news reporting within my employer's debate that will be hosted on September 10th, 2024. It says, furthermore, Harris campaign imposed restrictions on the scope of questioning, including no questions regarding perceived health of President Joe Biden. No inquiries related to her tenure as Attorney General in San Francisco. No questions concerning her brother-in-law, Tony West, who faces allegations of embezzling billions of dollars in taxpayer funds and who may be involved in her administration if elected. Number five, internal or, hang on, let's go back to these, these ones. You can't inquire about the, the health of President Joe Biden? I mean, it's not like he's running, so why not talk about it? I mean, how is that be how would that be damaging to her? She's the one that's running. If I find it weird how you can't inquire about that. 
It says no inquiries were related to her tenure as attorney general in San Francisco. But it's her record, though. Like that should be, uh, that should be gone. You should be able to go over that. I mean, if anything, her record as attorney general should be done with a fine tooth comb. We got to be able to get all those little bugs out of there. We got to find exactly what she's been doing. Oh, but see, because they don't want to do that because Tulsi Gabbard gave her a rhetorical knockout punch back in 2020 while going over her record as attorney general back then. And to be honest with you, why didn't Donald Trump bring that up? You want to know why Donald Trump didn't bring that up? Because he agrees with what Kamala Harris did. Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are more similar than a lot of people are willing to admit. By the way, Donald Trump also gave Kamala Harris money when she was attorney general in California. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So that lets you know who Donald Trump is. Because he wouldn't attack Kamala Harris unless there was something that he didn't agree with. But guess what? He agrees with the things that she did as attorney general. That's why he gave her money. So this is why Donald Trump didn't didn't go, well, you did these horrible things to people as attorney general in California. No, because he agrees with it. And then says no questions concerning her brother-in-law, Tony West, who faces allegations of embezzling billions of dollars in taxpayer funds who may be involved in her administration if elected. So if he's, you know, if he's potentially going to be involved in her administration, then of course, yeah, he should be questioned. I typically say family is off limits, but in exceptions like this, where if the family is going to be involved in the administration, then yes, you ask about that because they're a person involved in the administration. It's the same thing where I honestly do not think Jared Kushner is off limits. No. Yeah. Is that his son? Is that Trump's son-in-law? Yes. But is he involved in the administration? Yes. So therefore, he's not off limits. Is Barron Trump off limits? Absolutely. Because Barron Trump, unless Trump is doing something with his son that would involve the administration or involve some uh, bad deals that are being done illegally within the country, no, yeah, Baron Trump is off limits. Baron Trump is, I think he's 18 years old now, which is now he's an adult. But especially if they're, you know, if, you know, I don't, you know, the kids are off limits because they're not doing anything within the government. Tim Waltz's kids are off limits because they don't have any dealings with, you know, the government. They don't have any dealings with things like that. So therefore, you know, the sins of the son, I'm not going to put on the father unless the father has done something to make this, you know, the cause the sins. So, with that being said, let's continue. All right, it says internal organization climate. I have observed and pronounced bias against Donald Trump within ABC News. Employees express favorable views towards him, experience significant concerns about potential retribution. Uh, purpose of documentation of affidavit says this affidavit is executed to document and provide transparency regarding the issues of fairness and impartiality in the date, debate process and broader concerns about journalistic integrity at ABC News. It says affirmation of documentation. This affidavit has been signed and notarized on September 9th, 2024 to ensure that the allegations set forth are formally documented prior to the debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. In addition to notarizing this affidavit, I have set a certified letter to myself postmarked September 9th, 2024, which will remain unopened for any future investigations. I have also dispatched a Federal Express package containing this affidavit sent on September 9th, 2024 and delivered to my residence on September 10th, 2024, which will remain unopened for, pre for potential investigative purposes. Furthermore, I have sent a certified letter to Speaker Mike Johnson dated September 9, 2024, to establish a record that the correspondence was sent before the debate commenced. So, I have not seen anything from Mike Johnson yet. I have to take a look. But, as far as I know, Mike Johnson hasn't said a word. Mike Johnson, what do you know? Pull out that letter. All right. 
It says, additionally, for further investigation, I have secretly recorded several conversations that will prove that the Harris campaign insisted upon not only the fact checking of Donald Trump, but also insisted on what questions were not to be asked under any circumstances or else the Harris campaign would decline to participate in the debate. Hold up, wait a minute. Now, what is one thing, because we covered this debate last week, what is one thing you guys remember? Me and KD, when he was on here, we have noticed that Kamala Harris has been lying just as much as Donald Trump during that debate. And she was never fact-checked once. We were fact-checking both of them. Because Donald was lying and Kamala was lying. They were lying everywhere. But the problem was it was skewed in one way. Was Kamala Harris lying? Oh, you bet your ass she was. But they were never pushing back. For instance, she kept on saying, oh, well, he's he's in favor of Project 2025. When in reality, he's not. Is Donald Trump dangerous? Yeah. Is Kamala Harris dangerous? Of course. But he's has not endorsed Project 2025. They keep trying to pin that on. She also said wrongly, and they should have her, checked her right there about his unwillingness to support IVF, when in reality, he actually said it in a speech a few days prior that he's for IVF. In fact, he wants the government to actually pay for IVF. So Kamala Harris could have been fact checked right there, easy but they refused to fact check her. So was it skewed in Kamala Harris's favor? Yes. We see it from the results. This affidavit is from the day before the actual debate, meaning that this person knew that this was going to happen. Meaning it's premeditated. It concludes with, I make these statements under penalty of perjury and without coercion of any kind. So I blank being duly sworn hereby dispose, I'm sorry, deposes and says this deponent has read the foregoing affidavit and hereby vows to the content thereof. And at the same time, true to depon the deponent's own knowledge as to the matter therein to be stated, to be alleged upon information information and belief and those matters the opponent believes them to be true sworn on to me on this ninth day of september 2024 and it was notarized my question is what did david muir and lindsey davis know by the way lindsey davis is also uh an aka part of the sorority the same sorority as Kamala Harris, Lindsey Davis should not have been able to ask questions. Or if Lindsey Davis was going to be there, she could not ask any questions of Donald Trump, I'm sorry, of uh, Kamala Harris. Lindsey Davis actually should have not been one of the debate moderators. And yet she was. A former a sorority, uh, uh, sorry, a sorority member of the same sorority that Kamala Harris belongs to, AKA. And here's the thing. This is not to give any praise or anything like that to Donald Trump. This is not to defend Donald Trump. Because my question is, would Fox News do the same thing? Yes. Would they do it in the opposite direction for Trump? Yes, because it's all corporate media. They all do the same things. So with that being said, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is why you need to support independent media. Look what they're doing to Max Blumenthal. Look at what they did to Richard Methurst. Look what they did to, uh, I'm blanking on his name, Scott Ritter. Look what they did to independent media. 
Look at what they're doing to us. They're trying to silence us and they're trying to prop up corporate media. But corporate media, they're trying to keep you within that duopoly, within those confines of, oh, of empire. Whether it's Fox News, ABC, MSNBC, CNN, New York Times, Vice News, it doesn't matter, right? Whether it's The Hill, it don't matter. They all are guilty of propping up empire. Support independent media. Because without an independent voice, You ain't got nothing. Thank you so very much for watching my channel. And I deeply appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. If you wish to support the channel further so I can keep bringing you content that is educational and informative, you can become a patron on patreon.com forward slash JVFon. You can find that link in the pinned comment or in the description below. No matter what you give, you'll be supporting independent media and education that helps make the world better. Thank you so much. And you can watch more of my content here. Mwah. Forehead kisses and have a beautiful day.